I, I think that looks good. Okay, hello everyone, it's me. Hi, I like to use my hands, that's a thing I do. These are very high production videos. Look, I can even turn on blur. Now you can see exactly what I see without my glasses. Now you might be wondering why I'm sat on the floor in my sitting room. Uh, well, it's because I wanted to do two things today. Firstly, we need to talk about you. Yes, you, Barry, I'm looking straight at you. I'm actually in your house. Just wait till you're asleep. A couple of days ago, I uploaded a video called, I need your help. And you guys absolutely knocked it out of the park. I am so bloody grateful. Tom is also very grateful. Basically, I asked you guys if you could donate to Dorothy House, which is a hospice for people who are at the end of their lives with cancer or other illnesses. And a lot of you donated to them. But not only that, a lot of you donated to my PayPal that went straight to Tom the next day. We raised 250 pounds and the look on his face when I handed him that envelope was incredible. I am so, so grateful for all of you, my amazing community. Thank you for allowing that to happen. And I'm so bloody glad he was able to use that money. Uh, he's donated a little bit of it to get up to a thousand on his donation. And he used the rest for funeral costs and stuff like that. So it really has helped. Also, yes, he is going to be returning to the channel. Very excited. Um, so that will be happening soon. Also, I want to quickly talk about Kingdom Come Deliverance and the fact it's hit a massive milestone. Five million sales. That's insane. So a massive shout out to Warhorse Studios. If you don't know that people are interested in a sequel by now, then th that's worrying. Um, <laughs> please, guys. It's time. It really is time. You missed a massive opportunity over Jeff 3. We're going to call E3 Jeff 3 now because it's basically just Jeff Keighley. Um, Jeff 3. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, there was no news uh, on anything at Jeff 3, uh, which sucks. And I think it's a massive missed opportunity, honestly. Uh, but fingers crossed at some point in the next 10 years, we might get something. But we need to talk about what's actually happening on the channel. You may know that I'm now the community manager on The Last Aura Crew, an upcoming RPG coming to Steam and all consoles later this year. You can tell I've been practicing, it's very fancy. There's a demo available. Download now, play the game, and wishlist on Steam. Honestly, wishlists are amazing, and I would be so bloody grateful if you guys could go wishlist it. Even if you don't buy the game, just go and wishlist it. It's free. Also, yeah, please buy the game. Thank you. But obviously that's been taking up quite a bit of my time. I'm obviously doing the social media posts over there. I'm researching different things. I'm trying to be a professional. So unfortunately, videos have been sparse and non-video-y because I haven't made any. <laughs> Sorry. But that's about to change. I, I have sword fingers now. Ha! So obviously this is where I talk about upcoming videos because you know that's quite important. So um, I have this. Oh God! Ah, it's a big bag. Now you may be wondering what's in there. Um, I'll give you a clue. It's not a dead body that I know of. We have a full bag of PS1 games. That's upside down. We have a full bag <laughs> of PS1 games. I don't know what's in this bag. This was given to me very kindly for free from Pink Planet uh, in Trowbridge. Go and buy all of your games and vapes from Pink Planet in Trowbridge. They're the best store in the county. It's their jingle. They have a whole bag of these games that they weren't able to sell because they've got some little scratches on. Um, but that probably worked. I've got some before that have been scratched and they work absolutely fine. There are about a hundred in here. <laughs> And I don't know what's in there. There, There is one I saw and um, I'm not allowed to look because I don't want to spoil it for myself. Uh, but I did see this one, um, Driver 1 on the good old PlayStation. It's all PS1 games. We're going to do a video. Don't worry. What's in the bag will return tomorrow. 
hopefully. So yes, that is a video. It's going to be long. It's going to be fun. Uh, I hope you tune in. So that's one video. I'm very excited about that. You know I love doing on-camera stuff, so that's going to be great. It's action, man. I don't know. I'm going to put that back. I don't want to spoil it for myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next, we need to talk about actual games we're going to be playing. So I was very kindly given a review code for To The Moon, uh, which is a cool adventure game where you're on the moon um well, actually no i think you're going to the the other games called to the mid that probably would make sense wouldn't it but there's a sequel coming out that's related to mars and i'm very excited that comes out in september i want to give a massive thank you to the people over at wired productions they gave me a copy uh, i'm going to be playing um so yes that is going to be a video i'm very excited to try that out and then I'm going to be playing uh, the new one, hopefully, in September as well. So that's awesome. Also, recently, I started doing videos looking at games that I think don't get enough love. So far, we've looked at Days Gone. We also looked at Assassin's Creed Origins recently. I have another game for that series, and it's Shadow of War. Uh, that game is a ton of fun, and I love the Nemesis system. Plus, they've taken out all the microtransactions. So uh, that is brilliant. So I'm okay covering it now, because I wouldn't have before. <laughs> But if you have any games that you think are incredibly underrated and that I should talk about, leave them in the comments below. I want to hear your thoughts. Mafia 3, I might make a video on because I think that is underrated in aspects. In aspects. <laughs> in other news, I got my new passport. Uh, my passport ran out in 2020, I think. Uh, so I've got a new one now, and it does mean I'm going to be able to go to different places, including Bragg. Yes, Bragg. I say it all fancy like because it's very fancy. There's going to be hopefully still a concert happening in Prague, and uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance is going to be doing a full concert with a massive orchestra, and I'm very excited. Hopefully, so I can meet Adam Sporka and Jan Volta. That would be amazing, as well as hopefully the rest of the Warhorse team. Plus. When I'm there, I mean, I, I kind of have to go to War Horse Studios, right? It's the law. Also, I could maybe visit some locations from the game. Uh, now, yes, that would be quite the trip. Uh, I'd be doing a lot. <laughs> but, I mean, we can, we can work it out. There, there's something we can do there. It might be two trips, I'll, I'll be honest. But apart from that, I'm not sure what else we're going to be doing. There's going to be videos. Do not worry. If you want to, make sure to head over to my Twitch. That is SXY Biscuit. Go over there. Go and follow, subscribe, whatever on there. Uh, it would mean the world to me. I live stream games over on Twitch more than I, I do on YouTube. Uh, so if you want to see me play a game for a video, let's say. The Days Gone video was actually a live stream that I edited down and, and made good. Um, <laughs> I cut out so many ums. Um, uh, what was I going to say next? Honestly, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, I, I really can't believe we were able to raise that much and it was incredible and tom was so ecstatic uh <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen him like that he was in shock uh <laughs> so thank you by the way i read out all the paypal messages i also i responded in the paypal chat to everyone uh, that sent money to say thank you um he really loved the messages you sent and he's read the comments so it really does mean the world anyway uh, there might be some more exciting news happening soon we'll, we'll get to that when it happens uh but until then uh, i love all of you thank you so much for being amazing and, and being the best fans in the world i really do love you and i'll be back very soon with my massive bag of ps1 games you think I'm acting? I'm not. That's really bloody heavy. Anyway, I love each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. But until next time, that's me. Out. Oh, there you go.